All right. Uh, back to the boat. Actually, wait. Was it faster to go back to the boat, or was it faster to go across land? I gotta check the map again. That's that might have been not the best way. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just run inland to get that. Okay, that's yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just go ashore and get the horse. Okay, cool. The horse can go to the map marker. Wait, that way? Uh, you know what? I'll do it manual. That looks like you're going to take us a really long way to get there. Yeah, no, he just wants to U-turn. Nope, 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 nope. I'll do it manual. People using lousy doors in this game, it's either slapped boards or deadbolt doors requiring two people to shove open. Yeah. Or the barred doors that uh, no amount of people can open. They're indestructible. Yeah. You can put your horse in manual? Well, I just mean, you. I'm controlling it directly right now. Uh, if it's a place... Uh, it, in certain locations, you can have the horse go there automatically and you don't have to hit any buttons at all. Wait, what is this? Why the wailing? We are a band of bards ahead of our guys got some moves. prodigies, even. But that madman, the self-proclaimed Bishop of the Ruins, is our biggest critic. He calls our playing the Devil's Bagpipes. That strange instrument, made of bladder and bone, it does wheeze like an old woman. <laughs> he drives away our audience with his doom knelling. All we want is to bring a little joy to this jilted generation. A worthy aim. Maybe he needs convincing of your talents. You would volunteer? Ah, you are a lover of fine music. This <laughs> is surely an omen. Uh. Why not let the boy play music? He brings pleasure to the people. Music is the devil's wind breaking. <laughs> rancid. I, as the bishop of the ruins, will not stop. Music is the devil bishop farting, chat. Ruins. Is this title Alfred given? It is God given. He spoke to me as I stood one night pissing against the stones. <laughs> I am his instrument to stamp out the devil's tune. Then you and I must disagree. He be in wait, are we? Wait, what? We're fighting? I did not think Friar Tuck was going to suddenly throw hands. I was not ready for this. Hey, crack! Why well, going? You sucker punch me and then you're done? Fart on me, devil! <laughs> Fart on me, devil! May you continue to make merry harmonies. Smack my bishop! Smack my bishop! Dude, he's playing a song called "Smack My Bishop." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I'm home alone right now. Smack my bitch up. <laughs> Dude, I feel like they just took that quote and made this whole quest around it. Oh my god, that entire sequence of events. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Where's the freaking? <laughs> Smack my bishop. That, that is a very Borderlands-esque side quest. I don't know. When I think of Borderlands side quest, I think that guy that's like, shoot me in the face, shoot me in the face. And it's like, quest, shoot this guy in the face.
Uh, looks like a rap battle. Oh, is there a flighting thing there? Oh, man, I haven't seen a flight air in a while. Hold on, I'll go back down in a moment. On the other side of the wall? Dude. Oh, it's right there. I see it. Artifact. Oh, that's not a flighter. You goofballs. Y'all had me ready for a rap battle, and I'm being an archaeologist. I got, wow, I got a lot of skill points this play session. Hold on, what can we get? You're working for the British Museum. <laughs> it belongs in a museum. Advanced assassination. Uh, performing an F alternate shot with any kind of bow awards adrenaline. Point we're just getting kind of like whatever just for the stat increases. All right, now we spent 10 of them. Uh, let's see, Templar. RC. RC! To be honest, I never expected an AC game would have such a skill tree until I played PoE. It's not nearly that large, but when I first saw it, I was like, wow. But it filled out, uh, it filled out pretty quick. Loza. Oh god, his power level! Whoa!
He appears to have poisoned his sword. Wolf, please! Do the thing! Oh no. No, the explosive arrow literally went between his legs and missed. He should take bonus damage for being in the poison cloud. It said he was gonna take way more damage than that. He just hit the old incendiary powder from that missed arrow earlier. Oh my goodness. Woo! He blocked the... I... <sighs> Fine. We strive as you strive to achieve the perfection of the Ancient Ones. Pagan? To be pagan is perfect. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's cool, buddy. Go to hell. I think that's my explodey arrow that missed, and it's stuck in the ground there for some reason. Uh, let's see. There. All right. We're in Ruti. Some hours later, Merchant steps on and explodes. <laughs> Ivor gets it with don't kill civilians. Like, yeah, years later. Reminds me of a Team Fortress 2 comic I saw once with the engineer. Like... Yeah, they, they, they finish the battle, and he leaves his turret, and he leaves the battlefield, and he goes home, and he grows all old, and he's like, you know, 80 years old. And then, like, a very old spy reminiscing goes back to the battlefield, and he saps the sentry. And it shows the old engineer in the retirement home, and he's like, Someone's sapping my sentry! <laughs> it's like years later. How much ground have we covered? About halfway there. Run him over! I killed who? Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? Hold on, what is this path we're going on? Is he going all the way down to this main road? I mean, I guess, all right. <laughs> it's great how the horse does like one damage to everything we pass by, so we just aggro it all. Yeah, 
In AC Origins, the cheese method for those guys is horseback ride bys until they die, so they made Ivor terrible at horse combat. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even trying to do horse combat, I'm just trying to, like, just get past them on the road. Like, it's, it's auto-driving right now. Get the murdering dog. But, like, the default is to run over everyone on the road. <laughs> you have to go out of your way to not do that. I meant the roaming Templar. Oh, okay, got it. Oh my, adrenaline's getting filled up, all this in and out of combat. The speed limit. No, the speed limit. <laughs> I can't go any faster. Ah! Hi. Oh no! I can't climb that? Uh, pillar? Pillar. Oh no. I can't go any more up! Dang it! See if this works. Hey, Mark, cross code stream win. Uh, if Shugo's wanting to sponsor that, that might be sometime after Brazaria. Assuming people want to, me to finish Brazaria. Are you a cross code uh, pro? Yeah, are you pro cross code, Rag Zero? Can't talk. town, by the way. We're in a quick save before I do something stupid. Ink stupid. Oh, my legs. I'm fine. Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. It's not the legs, it's the knees. The knees are attached! Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn Beerstan. His household is as poorly run as his lands. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. 
You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. <laughs> I swear to write as a worthy woman, you coxcomb. She's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for truffles. <laughs> Biddleston does not return soon. Wine will not be the only thing spilled upon its floors. Now, gentlemen, everyone is fractious with this waiting. Let us be civil at least. Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Biddleston, the elderman of the Shire. Our lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. <laughs> her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Uh, am I supposed to take that as badly as I took that? From me. Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. <laughs> he's out buying me more hair gel. If he's away, I'll speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor. For I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You don't strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwood? <laughs> Perhaps it dances in my eyes. Frankish fire? I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. <clears throat> <laughs> you like my Frankish fire? Oh, no, no. <laughs> damn, damn. A sexy art start. I'm gonna call this town a sexy. Is a virtue, <laughs> Even the saints. Oh my gosh. See this chat? A sexy. <laughs> Welcome. You're gonna love it here. Oh my goodness. This has been a good, this has been an extra enjoyable stream. Is Chip nearby? Uh, let's see him. Again, he might be upstairs because I heard him like bouncing off the walls up there earlier. What is this person doing? Are y'all dancing? No. Wait, did you just change sizes? Are you repeatedly changing sizes? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, what what was in that stew I ate earlier? Like, <laughs> I'm seeing some script. Okay. All right. Chat, with that, we are going to pause here until next time.